The lube filter is replaced more often than any other serviceable part on today's engines. To ensure normal oil filter service life and prevent oil leakage or possible internal engine damage, it is important that correct installation procedures are followed. Most Baldwin spin-on filters include pictograms on the filters themselves, showing the proper installation procedures. When installing a spin-on filter, first unscrew and remove the old filter, making sure the old gasket is also removed. The use of a filter wrench may be required. Wipe the filter mounting base with a clean cloth to remove any contaminants. Remove the protective shrink wrap from the new filter. Check that all required gaskets are included and inspect the filter for dents. A dented filter, no matter how small the dent, should not be used. Apply a thin film of clean motor oil to the filter gasket. Do not use grease. Line up the threads on the filter with the threads on the mounting base carefully to avoid cross-threading. Screw on the new filter until the gasket comes into contact with the base. Follow the instructions of the filter manufacturer for final tightening. The pictogram on the filter will tell how many additional turns from gasket contact the filter requires. A filter strap wrench may be needed to ensure proper torque. Place the wrench near the base plate of the filter to avoid damaging the filter during installation. A filter that is not properly tightened to the manufacturer's recommendations may leak or experience gasket blowout. Make sure the engine oil level is full. Start the engine and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and recheck the oil level, adding oil if necessary. Again, inspect the filter for dents. A dent creates a concentrated area of stress, causing fatigue, which can shorten the life of a filter. Filters that are dented prior to or during installation should not be used. There are many types of systems, new and old, using cartridge filters on the market today. When installing a cartridge filter, some common instructions can be followed. Clean the outside of the housing before removing the filter to keep contaminants out of the lube system. Unscrew the housing cover retainer nut from the filter head to open the housing. Remove the filter and all old gaskets. Wipe the inside of the filter housing with a clean cloth to remove contaminants. Check the new filter to make sure that all required gaskets and seals are included. Also, inspect the filter for damage. Damaged filters should not be used. Reinstall the filter and all necessary gaskets. After replacing the housing cover retainer nut, make sure the engine oil level is full. Then start the engine and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and recheck the oil level, adding oil if necessary. Remember, when disposing of used oil filters, follow all EPA regulations in your area.